Welcome into the UMBC Coaches Corner. I'm your host, Steve Levy. This is our final show of the fall semester with the MCS students in the 395 section here at the UMBC Campus Studio. And uh, Assistant Coach Bryce Crawford, you get to do the last show of the fall semester. So you were so successful last year that we decided to <laughs> bring you back for a, a, another shot at this thing. But um, oh you got to be th excited as we sit here today. <laughs> Um, the team was less than 24 hours from boarding that, that big bird, mm -hmm. heading down to Dallas for the first two games of the season against SMU and, and, uh, and Arizona. As, as a coach, what does this time of year, what, kinds of, what does this like mean to you? How, how, I know you're kind of jazzed up on a, on a regular basis, but how, how jazzed up are you right now as we sit here? Um, this is obviously very exciting. I think, um, you know, as you're getting, as the season goes on, we, we're in, and last year we played such a long year, right? right. We, I think our last game was March 28th or something like that. Um, and then going into July and having a long or having a pretty decent length um, preseason, right? It's just exciting to go and play somebody else. You know right. what I mean? And mm -hmm. you've been working really hard, and um, now there's an opportunity to kind of prove yourself or you know kind of use the tools and the things you've been you know trying to work on to uh, actually you know just kind of show it out. So when you, when you were last here, um, you you probably were only three months into your time in Baltimore, mm -hmm. obviously before the season. So. What has changed between, you know, you're being in Baltimore for three months and now being here a year and three months for sure. Bryce Crawford? The biggest thing is us having a child. Right. My wife and I having a little baby girl. Um, and that's been, that's been the biggest change and the most exciting change for sure. Um, you know, other than that, you know, I think, you know, just becoming more acclimated. It's, it's nice being in a city again. Um, as we, prior to this, we were, it was a little more rural area. So it's nice to mm -hmm. be in. Um, places and it's an established city. I think you know people that are Baltimore are from Baltimore. They're excited about Baltimore. They take pride in their in this area. So um, no, I mean I, I like those things. I think. So we were talking on the way over. You went mm -hmm. from from a from a college perspective. You went mm -hmm. from the biggest time you could possibly be, mm -hmm. you know, uh, at Ohio State University, your your alma mater, mm -hmm. um, to Lenore Ryan, a Division two sm uh, smaller school in a, in a rural area. As you said mm -hmm. now to to Baltimore, sure. UMBC at the mid-major level. Mm -hmm. Talk about that transition for you, you know, how uh, do you stay in touch with those former programs you came from? H mm -hmm. How has that been for you, the, the culture shock kind of effect of going from the big time to the smaller time to kind of right in the middle there? Yeah, sure, I mean, it's, um, yeah, w what a transition. It was, I mean, at Ohio State's probably, I mean, that's 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 pretty pretty serious deal. I mean, that, and they really care about athletics, and, um, you know, in Columbus, Ohio, it, it, it runs the, it runs the town, uh, whether it's football, basketball, whatever it is. Um, and then, you know, as I kind of transitioned, had, had a little short time at Texas, which was similar. Right, right. Um, and then getting getting to Lenore Rhine, um, those people were very passionate about it. It was just at a much smaller scale. Right. Um, seeing all those, like, I, I went into a restaurant and somebody knew who I was my second day in town. And I was mm -hmm. an assistant coach in a, a town of 80,000 people. Right, wow. Um, but you know, and, and then now, now here it's just a different. It's a different thing. I think that athletics is really um, is really growing, and I think that I mean th this this year that we had as, a, as just as an athletic department was was very good with with uh, with baseball going to the tournament right. and lacrosse, you know, making some really good strides, and then obviously we had a pretty good year ourselves. Um, so that's exciting to be a part of this this kind of new chapter of what's going on here, and then with the events kind of event center coming along as well. How much did last year, in terms of basketball, how much did that surprise you? You know, again, we were sitting here a year ago. You had no mm -hmm. idea, you know, how the team would be. You maybe you had sure. a little bit of a of a thought, you know, how practice was going. Mm -hmm. But you know, 21 wins to make it to the semifinals mm -hmm. of, a, of a of a nice tournament. Um, I mean, you know, when you kind of reflected back, you know, how what was mm -hmm. your kind of you know surprise expected? How what was your kind sure. of reaction? Um, I think coming in here, d doing a little research. Um, I, I felt that the cupboard wasn't bare. I mm -hmm. thought that we had some pretty good pieces. Um, and I think with Coach Odom um, and his style, his philosophy, being quite clear um, to the guys and so close to his heart, you know, um, I think he, he really is bought into it himself, mm -hmm. which just makes it easier for everybody else to really lock into it. Um, I wasn't super surprised, to be frank, about, you know, the success we were able to have. I thought maybe we could even done maybe a little bit more mm. um, because the, the, the way that we play, I think it, um, it, let, it helps people be their best. And it puts people in a good position to do some really good things. So it was—I thought it was exciting. But I, I, hopefully, we can continue to improve upon it. Right. So let's talk about year two. Um, <laughs> you know, you lose you know two seniors and Will mm -hmm. Darley, who just had a phenomenal senior season. Uh, ben Grace, a, a great you know, senior leader for for the mm -hmm. team. Uh, you come into it this year with a lot of returning guys uh, and some some newcomers expected to help mm -hmm. out. But you know, as you've been through 
um, the last month of practice, gearing up for the first couple games. What, what are your thoughts right now? Sure, yeah. I mean, the, the first impression was it was just so nice in terms of already having something already kind of established um, in year two and year one. You know, we're just, everything is new. Everybody was basically a freshman. Sure, you know, sure. because no one knew anything about, you know, what we were, what coach wanted. Um, so now I think we're able to kind of dig into some different things and work on some different things on both sides of the ball, um, you know, earlier, early on in the season. Uh, but I mean, I, I mean those, those senior guards that we have are just outstanding. I, I, I'm sure there's some, there's some other good guard tandems and things in, mm -hmm. the, in our conference, but Jordan, KJ and Jarris are really stinking good, you know, and right. those, those, those uh, are, you know, Arkell is really growing and you got Joe Sherman. You, we've got some really good pieces that I think um, to really do, you know, to, to, to reach some goal, reach our goals. So I think most of our fans know about, as you've mentioned, that, that, that kind of three headed monster mm -hmm. at, the, at the guard spot. Mm -hmm. But I've been talking, I think your, your two sophomores may be two of your big keys this season mm -hmm. in terms of improvement. Arkel Lamar, who made the all-rookie team last sure, year, yeah. but we know he kind of is just scratching the surface of what yeah. he's capable of. Yeah. And Max Curran that we've seen a lot of great things from in the preseason. Yeah. Would you think that those two guys could, could really be keys to this season? Oh, absolutely. And, uh, and uh, you know, Max is – you see his, him really improving. Um, and I know he's chomping at the bit to play. You know, he didn't play a ton last year, right. and he's going to be able to really help us. Um, today he had a like, tr at practice. He had a tremendous practice. He's running all over the place, grabbing rebounds. You know, he's he's going to do some things that maybe we haven't done in the past to help mm -hmm. us. You know, he's not going to be Will Darley, um, sure. but he's going to be different. He's gonna, he has a different strengths. Um, and Arkell is just improving, and you can see the light bulb continue to, to get brighter and brighter because things are just clicking and clicking. And the more repetition he gets, um, the more dangerous he is. Definitely, as we mentioned, have a tough non-conference schedule mm -hmm. in addition to these games against SMU and Arizona. Mm -hmm. um, you're going to play um, mm -hmm. Maryland late in, right. uh, late in late December, so that's another, you know, maybe a top 25 team at sure. that point in the year. How does this prepare you guys for what's going to be a very tough America East Conference this year? Yeah, I mean, you know, obviously these teams are, these are high-level programs. Uh, you know, it, I think it, it gives you some confidence, you know, to see yourself go against some of these teams and, and have some success. You know, we expect to go into these games and really compete. Mm -hmm. You know, we're, we're, we're not certainly going out there, flying all the way out there and spending all this time out there to just, you know, get our, get, to get beaten pretty bad, you mm -hmm. know. I mean, you know the, the results will, will, will happen regardless. Um, we, we just have to do, we have to play excellent. We have to do what we do. We have to play our best. Right. You know, right. and then, then, you know, the chips will fall where they, where they may. But, um, you know, the guys are, I think they're really excited about playing these guys. And this is what you dream of, you know sure. what I mean, going in there on the road, you know, playing against a top team and see if you can knock them off. Well, Coach, uh, as, as always, I certainly appreciate the visit. Safe travels as we uh, head uh, to the south and southwest uh, this weekend, and uh, we'll check in with you later in the season, hopefully. Awesome. Thank you very much. Once again, UMBC, the men's basketball season, both basketball seasons kick off the weekend of November 10th and 12th. You'll catch a lot of games at the rack as we go into November, December. You can check out all the schedules of all the teams on umbcretrievers.com. For the final time this fall, Thanks for watching. This is Steve Levy for the UMBC Coaches Corner.